guys. I want to knock out another short video today. Seems like I'm knocking out a few of them um, on a walking staff that I made. Uh, it's a bit unorthodox. I really never had any use for them. They seem to be more of a fashion trend than bushcraft at times. So I wanted something that I knew I would actually use. And this one is done on a, it's probably a little over five feet tall. It's um, quite a bit shorter than I am, obviously. Um, but I would say it comes up to uh, the bottom of my chest at best. And I didn't want one too high anyway. Um, it's made on a hardwood doll. I believe it's oak. And it's uh, got antler at both ends. And it's been stained and treated with Danish oil. Um, there's a four inch bolt going through here. And they meet right here in the center. Going through the antler and the wood. And it was met with a leather, thick leather spacer with epoxy. So when I brought everything, screwed it right down and squeezed out and got a nice tight fit. So that'll never come apart. And the epoxy was also done on the threading inside both the antler and the wood. And I also wrapped the joints that I did the, the antler in with some nice leather cord. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. My view screen is fairly small. And I also Danish oiled that, so that hardened on there really good. And I actually did a drop of epoxy right at the end of them where I turned it in here so they'll never come off. Now as you can see this is forked and as you might guess this could probably have a multitude of uses. Pushing branches out of the way, holding things down, bringing things down from a tree like apples and stuff. I make one of these anyway when I'm picking apples so now I have a permanent one. And I'll show you the rest of it here. And as you can see I got a nice grain pattern on this on the staff. And show you the other end. I did pretty much the same thing. Another four inch bolt going through both ends and I just did an odd piece of antler that I had and rounded off the end. The end, excuse me. And this has also got a hook on it so if I want to hang it I can do that. Or if I need to get a better hold of a branch I can spin the stick around, grab right a hold of it and bring it down to me. Once again in the case of picking apples or berries or something like that. And, uh, you know, I pick pieces that have a nice, this one is, this uh, as you can see, is not far from the crown, so it's very knotty, and I thought they looked very nice. And I just put another treating of Danish oil on it, since I have had it out and used it. So, that's my take on it. And I'll take some stills for you. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, you know, this is a personal design, it's not for everybody, so, uh, thanks a lot.